Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's to Row. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aquarius love prediction reading for January 16th through January 22nd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, as my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fun, kind, sweet, loving, eccentric Aquariuses. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my aqua spirit guys? What's going on, my loving aquas? Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Aquariuses? Show me, spirit guys. Let's see, aquas, what you got going on. Ten of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Nine of Swords. Six of Swords. And the Will of Fortune. Hmm. Well, whomever I'm reading for, you are, you're not happy. You're definitely not happy. This is... With the Ten of Pentacles leading your reading, it's all about your family. It's all about a home life. It's all about something or someone that is a family or you want them to be a family. But if you see the Five of Cups here, you either want to be a family with someone, and I, I'm looking at this and I really think you do. You want to be a family with someone, but there's heartache here. This Five of Cups, they're, they're, you're feeling down because you're, <laughs> whatever you want, you're not getting. Because the Five of Cups is, is, is remorse, re, feeling regretful. Something must have happened that didn't form this family that you wanted. Um, because here's the Five of Cups. And that Five of Cups is just feeling down and out and depressed. Now, look at this card. It's a beautiful card. It has the three flowers here. But see, she's holding two flowers up here, Aquarius. That means that even though you might be going through a little, a, a little bit of, of, not even a little bit. It's going through a little bit, it's going through emotions right now. Going through heartache right now. Going through depression right now. Because someone, and I think this person here, just didn't want, it just did not pan out. It just didn't work out. And you still love them. You're still very much in love with them. But here, here's what's interesting. It just didn't pan out. But here's a nine of swords in the middle of your reading. And I dare to say that whomever this person is, reason you, you can't get this person off your mind. You just can't. The nine of swords is that, they consume you. You try very hard to get away from this person, the emotions, the feelings that you have for this person. The Nine of Swords, that is my card of just, you know, I, you can't even sleep. You can't, I mean, it's like every time you eat, when you sleep, when you think, when you wake up, when you go to bed, you have bad dreams because they're in your heart space still. You thought you were going to have something with them and they're in your heart space. They very much are. The Nine of Swords in the middle of the read. This is someone that's very much in your heart space. You cannot release them. They are all over you. That's why this depression is here. But here, I see some goodness coming because I see the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is you moving away from this heartache, moving away from this hurt, getting over this, this breakup, this, this relationship that didn't go like you thought it should go. I see you moving away from this. And when you do move away from this, there is someone that's there because that will of fortune is goodness. It's goodness. And I think the will of fortune for this is also saying this this is a good um good karma that you have. Moving away from this person or this getting out of this energy that you're in, getting this person off of you. And when I say off of you, releasing this energy is going to be good for you because I see someone that's there. With this will of fortune, that means someone is right there. Will of Fortune means that this is good karma right here. If you can release this energy, the universe will bless you with someone with that Will of Fortune. Now, 
If this is your read, please give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading for you. I just want to clarify the reading to find out exactly what happened or what went on or what is going to happen. Let's see if the if the uh, spirit guy is going to give me any additional information with this ten of pentacles leading your read. Sit back, relax. Give me three to five minutes. Let's just see what the universe is going to say. Let's see what the spirit guides are going to give me any additional information. Let's see. Why is this ten of pentacles here? Show me, spirit guides. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for my Aquarius? Show me. Oh, I have the Ace of Cups. I have the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, do you are whew, you are very much in love with this person. The Ace of Cups is that unconditional love. It's like you would have done anything to make this relationship work. Uh, to, to keep this family if you were within a family you would have done anything to keep the family together but it's not working out someone doesn't want to be there it's not working out I don't think it's you I think it's someone else but that ace of cups means that's unconditional love you love this person you are in love with them I, I, you know I don't even let me not put in love this is not a to me when I see ace of cups it's not necessarily a romantic love but it's deeper than that it's a heartfelt love it's an agape a God given love you wanted your family or you wanted to be in a family situation with this person. It's just, it's a, it's a universal love. It's the universe giving you love. So let's see why the five of cups is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the five of cups here? Show me spirit guys for my aquas. Oh, I see four of cups, four of cups. Okay. When I see the five of cups, you know, I see the four of cups over the five of cups. What I see you saying is I'm never going to love like this again. You feel like you'll never love like this again. I really just feel this. That's why you're heartbroken. That's why you're depressed. That's why you're down and out. But you got those two flowers, as I said, with this five of cups still there. Just look toward the flowers. You'll get out of this this trauma, this this um, heart space, this, this negative, this down energy, this depression, this darkness. It'll come off of you. But you're saying to yourself, I'll never love again. That's what you're saying with that four of cups. You're saying, I'll never love like this again. That's where you are right there, right now. You feel like I'll never love like this again. So let's see why the nine of swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the nine of swords here for my Aquarius? Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have the devil. This could have been a Capricorn person. It can't be anyone, but the devil card does represent Capricorn. But the devil card also gets a bad rap. But first of all, let me say, let me tell you what about you and this person. This was a very, very lust-filled relationship. When I say lust, almost to the point of obsession. You both, you couldn't keep your eye, yeah, excuse me, your eyes too. <clears throat> but you just could not keep your hands off each other. This was a, a very, very intimate, deep relationship. Because remember, I said the Ace of Cups is the beginning over here. That's clarified this Ten of Pentacles. Not only this, not only was this a love relation, uh, this was a heart faith, felt relationship as well as a physical relationship. This was very much lustful, very much. That's why it, it's almost like you were twisted. You were twisted over this person. Like I said, it, um, the devil card also gets a bad rap because people say it's all things or they'll say, oh, it's all negative. But it's not because what happens is with the devil, you're obsessed with their energy. You're in love with them. It means you're incredibly in love with someone. You're obsessed with their energy. And the, the way that, you know, anyone that knows that if you've ever been in love, you want to be around that person. You're obsessed with that energy because that obsession is you wanting to be around them because you are in love with them. And that's why it's hard to shake them. This is person is hard to shake. That's why that nine of swords is there. So let's see, why is the six of swords here? Show me spirit, spirit guides. Why is the six of swords here? Oh, I have the page. I do. I have the page here. Oh, page of swords. And you have the six of swords. It's because... Even though you're trying to walk away from this person, but this person, you keep hanging on because you keep communicating with them. You just keep communicating. That's This is something that's hard to break. You keep communicating. You're trying to walk away, but you keep communicating with them because you're still in love with them. How do you release this energy? So let's see why this Wheel of Fortune is here. Because that Page of Swords means that um, that's communication and you keep communicating. 
And that's the problem. You want to walk away, but you can't walk away because you keep communicating. Because like I said, you're incredible. You're still in love with them. So let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, I have the Four of Pentacles. <sighs> Stop. Stop it, Aquarius. Stop being... Um, it's almost like you're holding them still close to you. You're, you're, you're envious about this. You're jealous about this. And it, it is just because you cannot release this energy. But if you do release this, because the four pickles mean just holding on. You're holding on. That's what I see. You're just being a might. You're just holding on to them. Holding on to this energy. Holding on to this love. You cannot. Re you're not able to release it yet. But if you do, the will of fortune is here, which means that someone is waiting right around the corner for you, or your life will turn and have a good. You'll have a good relationship, or you'll have a good life with someone. But let's see here. Ten of Pentacles. This is all about family. Ten of Pentacles means happy home life. This is someone you wanted to be married to. You wanted to build a home with, a life. But here's the Ace of Cups. You are in love with them. It's an unconditional love, an agape love, a God-given love. Just love. You just love this person. Five of Cups, you guys aren't together. This is no longer because they didn't want you what you wanted. They, you weren't able to give them what they needed and what you wanted. You wanted one thing, but maybe you were stuck with another relationship. I don't know. Five of Cups here, though, is depression, remorse, or regret. And here's the Four of Cups. You, you're saying to yourself, I'll never love like this again. And here's the Nine of Swords here. And the Nine of Swords is all about you can't get this person's energy off of you because all you do is sleep. When you go to sleep, you think about them. When you wake up, you think about them. You have bad dreams, nightmares. It, it, you just cannot release this energy. You are still in love with them, this energy. Because the devil is here and it's obsessive. It's an obsessive energy. But, you know, like I said, the devil can mean a Capricorn person, can be anyone, but devil gets a bad rap. But it, when you see the devil card, it, can, it means that you're still incredibly in love with them. You are. This was a lustful relationship. This was not only a spiritual relationship with this Ace of Cups, it also was a physical relationship. Then you have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords means you're trying to move away from this energy. You really are. But you keep talking to them. You keep communicating with them. And you know what? I'm going to say something really crazy. This might not be that you communicate with them um, in the literal sense. But your mind wonders. Your, communicate, your mind wonders to them all the time about how things were or what you used to do. There is someone here that's still in your love space that you can't release this energy. Here's the will of fortune. No, things will be good if you can release the energy. Karma, you you are um you you if you release the energy because you're the four of pentacles up there, which means holding on, being envious, uh, being jealous um a little bit, and I think you just feel that way because this person perhaps has moved on, and I think you're feeling that way, and you can't release them because you still love them. They still love you too. But they've just moved on. But here the will of fortune is if you can release that energy. Someone's there for you. You'll have a great life. You will have someone that will love you or whatever you're in now will be successful because the universe is telling you that. So let's see. Well, 